r slash ask reddit what harmful things are being taught to children in a nasty divorce the parents may only talk about each other's bad qualities and the kid s may have an issue issues with their parents that they shouldn't question an adult you do not have to play with everyone there is a total lack of social accountability. If Laura is always cheating a tag it's okay to not let her play. If little Billy throws sand in the sandbox little Timmy does not have to play with him. Laura and Billy need to learn how to play appropriately. No back talk. Many adults use it as you're not allowed to challenge what I have to say. Makes sense if it's a cranky toddler being negative for negativity's sake. But suddenly older children can't question things or raise valid points of their own. Teaching them that it's not okay to fail. Some people need a little more time than others. It's okay to not get something now. Kids should be given more time to process things. Imagine having a poor grade because of a low score from the beginning of the year. How can we show children that it's not pass or fail? It's try and improve? Kids are starting social media so early these days. And I think that's very dangerous because it puts a lot of pressure on the kid to attribute their worth to their social media success. I also think parents are way too open with their social media when it comes to their kids. And it's totally a violation of the child's privacy, of which some parents will never admit. To repress their emotions, it will only cause them to bottle them up and accumulate them to the point of exploding in an instant. Probably not harmful, but in kindergarten we were prohibited from playing soccer because it was too dangerous. We were kindergartners. We probably would stand there and kick the ball, not go full on FIFA or shit. Edit. What the duck. Thanks for the upvotes guys. Little girls get told all the time that boys are bullying them because they like them. If you have a different opinion than someone, you hate them and that's wrong. Also. People seem to be taught this incorrect notion that every disagreement has to be an argument. So backing down, admitting that you were wrong, or changing your mind are considered losing. It's totally fine to change how you feel about an issue when presented with new information. It doesn't make you weak. You show me respect first because I'm an adult and have authority then I choose whether I should show you respect no other way. That complaining is the same as not being grateful can't count the number of times growing up when adults basically told me to shut up whenever I was complaining about something and that I should be grateful that I was born where I was. Like sure, I'm glad I wasn't born into some starving African family. But that doesn't mean everything is perfect over here and that we shouldn't try to improve things here as well. She's younger than you. Just let it go. Can't you be more compassionate? You're the older one here in this situation she's a little child. She doesn't know any better. Absolutely hate this information that was drilled into me since I was a kid. Edit. I think children under the age of 3 are an exception to this though. I was referring to the 5 12 year olds who could get away with stuff because they were younger. Political views. At ages that children are really too young to understand them. They just spout off their parents thoughts. Doing the right thing will sometimes make others hate you. Be prepared for that. That sounds like decent advice. How is it a harmful thing that's being taught to kids? Basically all those shit social media influencers that teach young people that it's all about money and brand names. Kids today are more aware of consequence and their digital footprint than any generation before speaking strictly of middle and high school age kids. They're extremely well aware of how something can come back to bite them later in life. Some might think this is good and a step towards a more mindful generation. But I disagree they've just gotten better at hiding it. For the sake of maintaining a happy face and limiting their digital footprint. Kids today repress anything that might be perceived as off track. Being discouraged to speak up about illnesses because it makes them weird something's wrong with them. They talk about like, you need therapy, which isn't a bad concept and you probably do need it, but they picture it in such a bad light. There was this one time my sister's Spanish teacher told her off for using vocabulary outside the sheet she'd been given for homework. Their task was to write a short essay introducing themselves in Spanish and use some simple adjectives. She asked me for help and since I'm quite a bit older than her and know a decent amount of Spanish, I have her a few interesting adjectives and verbs to use instead of dumb stuff like nice and kind or whatever. 
She comes back after school close to tears and tells me she got scolded for using vocab that wasn't on the sheet. SMH teachers are supposed to encourage learning, not hinder it, right? Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.